Good morning, I'm Evangelist Matthew Lee and welcome to today's edition of From Heaven at Seven. Family, the portion of scripture we're going to be reading from today comes from the book of Psalms, chapter 78, verse 4 from the New Living Translation. And it reads as follows. We will not hide these truths from our children. We will tell the next generation about the glorious deeds of the Lord, about his power and his mighty wonders. Family, isn't that portion of scripture so true? We cannot afford to hide these truths from our children. We cannot afford to hide the truths of the word of God and the power of God in everything that he has done in our lives. Family, you see, as children are growing up, it's really a case of monkey see and monkey do. So if your children don't see the power of God, if your children don't get to know God in your life while they are growing up, they're going to follow in the exact same way. But if we lead them by example, showing them the ways of the Lord, showing them and continuously telling them about the goodness of God in, their, in your lives, it will transfer to their life. If, if you can't expect your child to grow up in the ways of the Lord, if you are not going to church every Sunday and taking them to Sunday school every Sunday, if your church offers that, because it is in that place that they will firstly get to see you going to church every Sunday. And that is how they will develop a healthy habit in future to go to church when they have the choice to go to church. They will then choose to go to church because they saw their parents doing it because that is how they're raised. And secondly, when they go to Sunday school and youth and all these kinds of things, it is a wonderful place for them to learn the ways of the Lord and to grow in the things of the Lord from a young age, family. When children are young, their minds are like sponges taking in everything that they see. But if they are constantly watching TV and Netflix and seeing you watching TV and Netflix and not going to church and all these kinds of things, what's happening? Their mind is going to absorb all the things of the world that that are being fed to them from the internet, from the TV and all these kinds of things. But if they can see you going to church and if they can be in the word of God and the presence of God and in Sunday school and all these kinds of things from a young age, those are the things that they are, that their minds are going to absorb, family. And we want that. We want our children's minds to absorb the things of God because when they get those things of God from a young age, it'll filter through into the into the rest of their lives. It'll influence the rest of their lives. The Bible says that we are to train a child up in the ways of the Lord. And when they're old, they will not depart from it. And that's so true, family. And, you know, sometimes, yes, the child might go astray and have a couple of rebellious years in their in their teens and early 20s. But at the end of the day, they will always come back to it. Why? Because that foundation was established in their lives from a young age. I'm a living example of this. I grew up in a Christian home, but in my teen years, I, I went astray. And in my 20s, I went as far, as far astray as becoming an atheist. But when I was 23 and a half in 2014, I came back to the Lord. Why? Because my parents raised me up in the ways of the Lord. And consequently, I returned to the ways of the Lord. And here I am a couple of years later, standing in front of you beautiful people sharing this message, family. So I want to encourage you, Parents out there, train your children up in the ways of the Lord. And when they're older, they will not depart from it. As it says there, do not hide the truths of the word of God from your children. We will tell the next generation about the glorious deeds of the Lord, about his power and mighty wonders. We must not be afraid to tell the next generation, to tell our children. And if you don't have children, still the next generation, other people's children and all these kinds of things. We need to share these things with the next generation so that it can be passed on to the next generation so that the revelations that the Lord has imparted to us, so that the miracles that the Lord has done to our lives, so that the testimonies of what the Lord has done can be passed on to the next generation. That's what the Israelites did in the Old Testament was they continuously told the next generation of the stories of what the Lord had done in the past. And that is how their faith grew. There wasn't the Bible and all that kind of stuff that they could have in their pocket and their cell phone or even sitting next to their bed. The only time that they would then hear the word of the Lord and from the Torah was if they went to to the synagogue or to the temple family. And, And the beautiful thing is that we now have the Bible available to us, but that is how back then it got passed from generation to generation. And yes, the Bible can now be passed from generation to generation, but then it's just the Bible. But when we share our testimony of what the Lord has done, our revelation of the things that the Lord has taught us, that allows continuity, family. And that was one of the big problems 
that often happened in the Old Testament was one generation would pass it on to the next, but then the next generation wouldn't do that. We see it with jo- uh, with Moses passing on to Joshua and with Elijah on to Elisha, but Elisha didn't go on and pass that anointing on to the next generation. There, there wasn't that continuity. Imagine that continuity had have gone on from generation to generation to generation. The amount of power and anointing and revelation that those individuals, that that information and revelation and anointing had been passed down to. Imagine what they would be operating in in this day and age if there was that continuity, family. So it is important that we share our faith, that we share our experiences and our testimonies with the next generation so that the next generation can pass it on to the next generation and to the next generation and the next generation. And that is how we generationally grow in the Word of God. So I want to encourage you to do just that. Thank you, family. I hope that this message has blessed you and encouraged you and given you some food for thought. And before I end, I'd just like to close in prayer. Father God, we come to you in the name of your son, Jesus Christ. Lord, we thank you for this day, that this is the day that you've made and we can rejoice and be glad in it. Lord, we thank you for your word and the advice in your word, Lord. And I pray, Lord, for each and every single person listening, myself included, Lord, that you will help us to pass on the information and revelation of your word to the next generation, the truths of your word to the next generation. Help us, Lord, to share our testimonies of your goodness and your power in our lives to the next generation, Lord, so that these things can go on from generation to generation, Lord, so that the, so that Christians can continuously grow in the things of you, Lord, but and so that we don't have to reset from every generation, but that we can grow, Lord. So, and that is how we go from strength to strength, from glory to glory, and from victory to victory. We thank you, Lord, that you help us to be mindful of this and you allow us to be able to impart this to the next generation. We thank you, Lord, that that generation will pass on to the next and the next and the next, Lord. And we thank you, Lord, that it snowballs from here on out as we make the decision to pass what we know on to the next generation. And we give you alone all the praise, the glory, and the adoration. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Thanks for watching my video. I trust that the content of the message blessed you and encouraged you. And if it did, I'd like to ask you to please hit the share button to help us spread this message and to get it out there to your friends and family so that they too may be blessed by this message. And before you leave, please give this video a thumbs up drop a comment, let me know what you think about the content of this video, and I'd like to invite you to please come back and join me for more episodes of From Heaven at 7, which premiere live every day of the week at 7 a.m. Central African time on the Evangelist Matthew Facebook page, as well as my YouTube channel where the replays of the videos remain for those who are unable to watch the live premiere. If you watched this message today and were touched by this message and feel like you want to give your heart to the Lord and make the decision to accept Jesus Christ as your personal and savior, I would love to invite you to please click on the link in the description of this video that says salvation and if you watch this message and were blessed by it and feel led to sow a seed into the ministry or to partner with us on a monthly basis i'd like to ask you to please click on the link in the description of this video that says giving alternatively at the bottom of the screen right now is the ministry's banking details as well as our snapscan qr code and lastly i'd just like to ask you to please go and like and follow all my social media accounts if you haven't already to be kept up to date and in the loop with everything that's happening in the ministry and every time we upload a video just like this one. Thank you, family. Enjoy the rest of your day and God bless.